here, you two clear on the other side of the island. Good! May all Skellige know, Jennifer of Vengerberg is a common thief! Control yourself, Druid. I haven't stolen anything. I've merely borrowed something and fully intend to return it. Ha! The generosity. Just one small problem. Once used, the mask is rendered completely worthless. Not to mention the risk you'll bury us alive, and all the Isles with us! Barry, what are you talking about? She's not told you? Might have expected as much. The myth is that Orboros created the mask when the envious seas swallowed his beloved. Unable to bear the prospect that he would never again see his patrol, Urboros made the mask which would allow him to peer into the past. He knew, however, that he could only use it once. So he waited. Waited until his longing grew so strong that it became unbearable. When the sea learnt of the mask, it was quick to respond. It made known its threat that whosoever used the mask would bring the sea's wrath down on them. For in vengeance, the sea would rise and flood all the lands and drown the living. Where do you get this mask? The sailors from Clan Dimmon pulled it from the sea, near the Njord Trench. Yeah, but how can you be sure this is Urboros's mask? Its appearance is exactly as described in the myths. You believe the myths? Only ignorant fools belittle their significance. Besides, it's not the myths that are on trial here. It's the thief. On the one hand, a theft. On the other, Ciri's life. I also care deeply for the girl. I proposed a series of other methods. Yennefer refused to listen. She claimed they would take too long. Whereas she wants, she needs immediate results. She has always been hot-headed. True. At least this time she's got a valid reason for it. Never mind that she might bring... What? What was that? No. Yennefer's used the mask. the mask summoned them. Ermion says the mask might cause a natural disaster. Fortunate he's here then. He can jump right in, try to tame it. Realize he won't let this pass. Oh, I'll survive, somehow. What now? The mask reveals the past, but only in certain places. Places where past events left a strong magical imprint. Take it. Want me to wear it? Yes. I'll cast a spell that will let me see through your eyes. Well, let's go. This way. Already found the first spot. Siri. How can you know? The way she moved. 
Like a witcher. Seems they went that way. Come, let's find the next spot. explosion of some sort. So powerful that even the echo was dangerous. I wager it destroyed the forest. But Siri and her companion weren't harmed. I saw them escape. Let's see where to. Hmm? Place is creepy. I don't like it. Nor do I. Anyone here when this happened had a slim chance of surviving. I know what you're thinking, but don't worry. Siri can take care of herself. Well, ready? Use the Someone chased Siri. See that? Might have wounded her. She escaped through another portal. Know where it led? Magic residue trail leads to... Valen. Any chance you can figure out where Ciri's companion fled to? His portal's gotta be nearby. I'll try to find it. Come! Don the mask. Nice fight. One repelled the other with powerful magic, then fled through a portal. A mage? Most likely. It's Ciri's companion and the one who wounded her. How do you know? I don't. Making an educated guess. They both appeared in the previous visions. Ciri's got a powerful ally. The mage who was with Ciri fled too. Nowhere? Hmm. His trace path leads to Velen as well, but the target coordinates of his portal differ from those of Ceres. The explosion must have disrupted his teleportation. Hmm. Ran into Kira Metz and Velen. Coincidence, maybe, but she claimed a mage came to her looking for Ciri. I'd be surprised if it wasn't the same one. Whoever he is, he grows more interesting by the minute. Maybe something left of the one who got hit by the spell. It's clearing up. Ermion must be getting a handle on the weather. Which means he'll be free to attack us again. Are you pleased with yourselves? Look at what you've brought down on us! If someone's death were to help you find Ciri, would you start making human sacrifices as well? Relax. Storm's died down. You've clearly got things under control. For now! But who knows what will be a week or two on? Stop panicking! Here's your mask. It is worthless. It's an unwieldy ashtray at best. I hope you've learned something useful at least. Very. I'm talking to Geralt. You. You I'll deal with later. So? We think a powerful curse was cast here. Hmm. Plausible. Considering what happened to the wood, do you know upon who? Not yet, but we know Ciri was here. She stepped out of a portal. The mage was with her. Someone chased them. They fought. Ciri was wounded but managed to escape. Where to? Velen, probably. The mage opened a portal for her, then he fought her attacker. Yes? Is that it? Got a feeling we found something interesting. Just need to examine one more thing. Something's pinned under that tree. Can you... I can. Clean. 
No blood, no sword mix. Siri's friend must have... What do you call it? Vaporized him. Exquisite. The armor. All the workmanship's unfamiliar. Can't even tell where it's from. Probably because it belonged to a writer of the Wild Hunt. What? So it's true? The Wild Hunt? I feared as much. First here, then on Hindersfjall. What did they want? They're looking for Siri. But why? Elder blood flows in Ciri's veins. It is true she can trace her lineage clear back to Lara Duran, which is why the women in her family have always had extraordinary abilities. But could that truly be so important? Ciri's exceptional. She travels between places here and other worlds. Space is no obstacle for her. Huh? Which is why the Wild Hunt wants to capture her. Speaking of the Hunt, mentioned it appeared on Hindersfjall. Well, it happened at least a fortnight after the Cataclysm struck here on Ard Skelly. The raids raided Lofoten at dusk in a blizzard. Itself a strange occurrence for that time of year. The islanders said the wraiths. They barged into their huts, killed anyone who resisted, then galloped inland, laughing fiendishly. Anyone survive? A dozen or so women and an old man. Next stop, Hindersfjall. I'll meet you on the beach near Lofoten. Mm hmm. See you there. Good luck to you. Inform me once you've learned anything new. Oi! Step over here! Heard you calling. Aye, because I was. I thank Mother Nature she didn't skimp on my voice, as she did with some others I know. See, one of us, a gill, went mute all of a sudden. No spell or potion helps him. But it is said strong emotions and experiences can restore speech. So I thought perhaps you might... I'll pay you, of course. It give you an excellent Gwent card. I suppose I could try, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't even know where to start. You want me to scare him? Aye, good, good. That should do it. Scare, irritate, whatever you wish, provided you do him no harm. You can usually find a gill near the hallowed oak. Oh man, he's probably praying in his heart for a cure. <laughs> Tin pots. Stand to make a lot of noise. Maybe give him a smack once he's asleep. Are you the silent druid? Oh yeah. Dumb question. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Huh. Not just mute. Seems he's deaf too. They ever try to cure you some other way? Give you potions or herbs? Huh, not just mute. Seems he's deaf, too. When do you lose your voice? Can you show me? Hold up some fingers? Huh, charming man. Huh, doesn't look like we'll figure much out talking. So long. Talking won't get me anywhere. Stop pestering me with this confounded cough.
day. My, my vow of silence. Oh, pardon. No. Three years. Three years. Not a word. Not a peep. Until today. You made me break my vow. Happy. Oh, sorry. Someone tricked me. I thought. Boo hoo hoo. My deepest sympathies. Now get out of my sight, you imbecile. Seeing right. Greetings. Saw your notice. Huh. And they said, where you hang on that, ain't no one else gonna hunt that beast. But I showed him. Any idea what kind of beast this is? Oh, you hear all sorts of things. The wenches clean the nets, blather about costches and manticores. But I reckon that's hogwash. We'd seek the counsel of Freya's priestesses, we would. But how can we when we can't get to the shrine? And nobody's gotten a glimpse of the beast? From a distance, even? Oh, they have, they have. Right close. Closer than boot and strap. Soon after, their blood spattered the underbrush. Near from the start, no ordinary man could handle the beast. But Svera insisted. Muster the crew and... Only four came back. The rest massacred east of the village. So, will you help? Let's talk about my reward. You want to bargain? How would you count it? Heighten hands at the withers or...? Hmm, by species. Drowner's less than a cockatrice. Aha! Uh -huh. But we've no notion what prowls the high road. What do you say you cut it down and then we'll talk? Mm -mm. We pre-agree a price. Define a bonus for unforeseen risks. Uh, so, how much? Ah, have it your way. Is your neck on the line? I'll tend to the monster. Not your first, that's clear enough. Not like our lads. Heads full of fire, but not a morsel of thought between them. The four survivors, where'll I find them? Aim to talk to Sphera. Maybe it ain't a bad idea. They're sitting over there by that hut. Can I have a word? 
I serve the goddess. What can I help you? You, Svana. You're about the hero's pursuits. Can outsiders sign up, or is this a closed event? Freya sees no insiders, no outsiders. Any man can pay her tribute by risking his life in the pursuits. Our races differ from those of the continent. We are beholden to one rule alone. First across the line wins. Sometimes he is the swiftest, other times it is the one who knocks his opponents off their horse. Explains the name. They're an entry fee? Courage. If you do not lack it, hang the horse. Don't lack courage. Time, though, that's another matter. Still might come back. Take care. Pay her homage. Oh. Hey! Drink last night, too? Who are you? Why are you here? Could ask you the same. Places like this, usually home to necrophages alone. They're corpse eaters. Aye. And they grow bolder by the day. Crawl out to attack the living. We'll kill them all. Clear the mine with our swords in our hands. Honor our fathers in doing so. I'm a witcher. Could go with you and help. And steal the glory to us. No chance. Glory won't do much for you if ghouls are gnawing on your bones. Mm. When you're thinking it, makes sense. All right. You lead the way then. But I prefer we trust the axe. Hey, where are you going? Drag the corpses outside. Burn them. Other ghouls don't scorn their cousins' corpses. Aye. True. It's good you came. Seems Freya watches over us to have let you here. We're grateful, mm -hmm. and will be for long. <clears throat> Folk are generous with gratitude. Not so much with coin. Oh, hi. Sorry. After glow of the bottle, we're still caught up. Damn you slice them good. Here. For you. Thanks. Farewell. Swinging at eight. Uh. May your axe never crumble. Ah! 